Hello everybody, Hopecaster here. Took way too long to get this set up. And so, I'm gonna be playing some Bejeweled 2. I don't know how this is gonna work with the whole, you know, fact it doesn't like to cooperate. This is gonna be a little series I'm gonna do where I'm gonna try to get to level 280 in Endless, because... In fact, I'm gonna just try to get, you know... All of the little... Hidden game modes. Cause... That's been a goal of mine for a while now, and on... My personal profile, I'm a... Nice. On my personal profile... I've gotten to like level 102, I think. So yeah. I'm also going to show off a little, you know, a few of the... Dang it. I better put it next to something. Of course it didn't. So this is one of them. It works a lot differently than the Jewel Three. No, that's not. That's not what I wanted to do. What I was gonna try to do. In fact, I think this is a little loud. What I was gonna try to do was, um, let's see. Um, it's actually not loud enough for, you know, the actual recording. What I was gonna try to do was, okay, make one of those. That's a hypercube, by the way. When, um, for those that don't know Bejeweled, Hypercubes, when you match them, they, if I matched it with an orange, it would get rid of all the oranges on the board. This is what that does. They're essential in another game mode I'm probably going to get to at some point. But, uh, yeah, finish the level. What I love about this game mode is the little gem tray right here. You're going to be, oh, can almost get that down there. Okay. I'm going to say I might try doing like a little, you know, quote. No, it's not a hypercube, apparently. I want to try to do a little, like, quote-unquote kind of speedrun. You can also do that, and it gives you a lot of points. But, uh... Yeah, a little quote-unquote speedrun. Okay, here we go. This is what happens. get 1,350 points in total if you match a hypercube with a power gem because since this game's a little I'm not gonna say glitchy but it's got way different logic than Bejeweled 3 which is what I'm used to which, as you can tell you can't match when stuff's happening either which kind of sucks but yeah, so, let's see. I always try to get power gems, as they're called here. Bejeweled 3, they're flame gems, which is what I called them for a long time. You get your flame, you get your power gems. Oh yeah, also, 
sometimes you have to do a match, so I did this. In that case. Every gem a hypercube breaks. Let me just put that down a bit. Any cube a hyper Any gem a hypercube destroys is worth 200 points. And if you get a power gem in that, it uh it's worth 600. So that's, I always try to do that. And then in a cascade, after every, oh yeah, by the way, don't do this. Don't match that with that because if you're going for points anyway, that's going to give you a lot less points than you'd get if you were to do this. Well, not a lot less, but like a little less. I think it gives... I think it gives like... 600 points if you were to do it. Not like I did. But I want to get levels as fast as I can, so... I also have to use X-Split because OBS refuses to freaking pick up the Jewel 2 for some reason. I don't know why. It sucks. Yeah, I go for as many flame ge power gems as I can. And I try to go for hypercubes whenever I can. I don't actively go out of my way to do s try to get them. Like, if they're easily accessible, I'll just, like, you know, do it, and then try to get a power gem next to them. Those give a lot of points. I d so in this game, I don't know if it happens. I don't know if a lot of people have ever been able to do this, but... In Bejewel 3... If you match two hypercubes together, it destroys the entire board. In this one, in the Jewel 2, it destroys all the hypercubes on the board. So you don't you don't, you don't want to match your hypercubes together. Long story short. Avoid that at all costs. Keep power gems. Unless you want to match them with them as far away from hypercubes as you can. This rule of thumb especially comes into play in, like I said, one of the other game modes that we're gonna get to eventually. I wanna get Endless knocked out of the way first because that one's gonna take the longest. And I can get the most out of it, you know, without exhausting all other possible avenues first. Also because I get to like kind of practice everything before I dive right in as well. So that's also the other drawback is if you have too many power jumps on the board it gets too shiny, and I can't see anything, and so I lose a lot of moves. Okay then. Okay then, that's awesome. I'm okay with that. <laughs> see if it can happen again. Never mind, it's not. It did give a lot of points though. But yeah, try to go for cascades. I don't know how to, you know, assure it happens. But I do know it can happen a lot if you set everything up right. It's just, are you going to get the right gem or not to fall is the only question mark in that scenario. I also don't know how long I've been recording because XSplit counts in frames and not um, the actual time. I also don't know if 
this is gonna record properly because I'm using the OBS method of recording, or Xsplit is full screen, and I can't big screen this game without actually going full screen, so that's fun. So I don't know how this is gonna look at all. All I know is that the game is actually picking up on the software. Is all I care about for the most part. I'll make tweaks whenever possible, but if only I could get those white gems there, or the yellow gems for that matter. Can't find it. God. Oh yeah, by the way, if you do a hit in this game, it takes away progress. Hints are not free in this game, and that's the theme across a lot of PopCap games from this area, era, now that I think about it, because this game is from 2004, I think. I was a year old when this game came out. And I also recently got another game. Oh man, there's a hypercube up there. I also recently got another game from PopCap that I loved way way back in the day it's called chuzzle it's like the jewel it's a little match three game except in this one instead of swapping gems you kind of slide them back and forth and that makes everything a lot more difficult I'm used to finding matches in Bejeweled because I've played it for so long, but I haven't, I haven't played Chuzzle in like, probably well over 10 years, actually. So, I'm a little out of practice. I also kind of forgot it existed until, apparently Chuzzle 2 came out in... Like, actually, I think a month ago. It's by the same- it's by Raptosoft. You know, the same people, along with PopCap, who made the original Chuzzle. Which, thank God. Because I, like, I thought... I actually thought Chuzzle was, like, only PopCap. Like, nobody else helped develop it, but apparently, this Raptosoft company did. So that's cool. It's on um like iOS Android. It's a free game. It, it sucks though, cause it's kind of like along the lines of those kind of Candy Crush things, but like not really, cause you um what you do is. Like, so you've got one level, right? Except it's not like your kind of traditional levels. Okay, no. In the sense that, um. Oh, yeah, by the way, when you get all the things in a tray there, it goes to there. And something special happens when you fill in the entire tray. But it's like, I don't know how to describe it. You've got like challenges in the level that you have to complete to move through the level to get to the goal. And uh. sorry, I'm a little tired for some reason. <laughs> um kind of like, oh yeah, I've got two. Get that. That's how you- That sucks. See? So you go through the levels, and I haven't gotten that far yet, because I'm only on like level five of my first playthrough. So I don't have two too much yet, but 
No update back when I have made progress. How many frames are we on? 27,000. I think this is around like 15 minutes or so. If I remember correctly. I was afraid XSplit wasn't gonna like actually boot up because it's been so long since I've uh you know, actually played this game. Oh my god, that orange is ridiculous. I'm starting to work on getting the purple gems in the tray on my, um, like, off-camera playthrough. I was say, once we unlock this, once we unlock the special modes, it's gonna be wicked fun, because they're- some of them are kind of really cool. But I feel this and puzzle mode are gonna be the hardest, because I know for a fact I'm gonna be going through a walkthrough while I play the game, because I suck at puzzles. I am the absolute worst at them. So, <laughs> so like, I think, like, I love the freaking puzzle mode on this game. It's a lot like the quest mode on Bejeweled 3, but like, you know, okay, I think I have to hyper keep here. So like the quest mode on Bejeweled 3, except there's like really only one mode. And it's not like the actual game at all. And so that'll be a thing. Easy. I think I'm a... Actually, I don't think I know. I'm gonna end it here. So this has been Bejeweled 2 up to level 10. I hope you enjoyed. Let the Super Pop Turkey review, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye